And teams now in our Invitational Girls 4x1600 meter race. We have Jesuit out of Oregon, Lone Peak, Oaks Christian, Buchanan, Clovis North, Marist, Los Altos, Del Norte, Mountain View. Cathedral Catholic, Redondo, Hellgate, Granite Bay, and Menlo Atherton. to the front in that lime green. That is Jesuit of Oregon, Audrey O'Neill, the senior. She's run 446 for 1500. Maris out of Georgia, out well. Leading off on this first leg with Stella Shambliss. And right to the front, Boston Bybee of Lone Peak. And a very nice 74 on that first lap. IB has run 455 for the full 1600 meter distance and she is picking it up. Fastest time in the nation so far this year is 2054 by Pace Academy in Georgia. Boston Bybee, the junior from Lone Peak, really picking it up here on the second lap. Be outstanding here with this leadoff leg coming to the halfway point in her effort. And Mountain View of Utah and Marist of Georgia. And right there, 230 at the halfway point. As we mentioned, she's run 456, so certainly not foreign to this pace. In the afternoon, moving up well into fifth. Lone Peak, Mountain View, Maris Del Norte of San Diego up in there. They're leading off with Addie Shannon, sophomore, and Jesuit of Oregon and Oaks Christian. Everybody chasing Boston Bybee of Lone Peak. When she comes by the finish line, she'll have 400 to go.
And Mountain View will go off in second, Mendel Atherton and Jesuit. Three forty-six for Bybee at twelve hundred. So a seventy-four. I'll give them a st great start of a sub-five on their leadoff. And Annie Flom of Menlo Atherton making a big move down the backstretch as Menlo in a second now. Boston Bybee with 100 meters to go. What a solid start here for Lone Peak. Lone Peak, Menlo. Del Norte finishing strong. And indeed, we will go under five, 4.56.9. A great leadoff. Plum's leadoff leg for Menlo is 5.04. Stone, uh, Abby Stone's lead for Mountain View. Her first mile was 5.08. And Shannon of Del Norte, 5.10. Jesuit going out very well here. O'Scanlan, Mara O'Scanlan in the green of Jesuit, taking Jesuit all the way up into second place on this first 300 meters. Lone Peak moving well here. This is Maya Baby, the freshman. She's run 4.57 this year. We're certainly on pace to have the fastest time in the country. Jesuit moving well. Mountain View. Right there with him in second. Menlo and Del Norte. Del Norte, great distance relay tradition. They were the California State champions in the inaugural four by 800 last year. This is Eliza Hong, a freshman from Del Norte. the junior from Jesuit as she's run 4.58 for the full mile distance and she has really brought separation there between second and the group of two, three, four, and five. <laughs> Cathedral Catholic running well. <laughs> Lindsay Zimmer, the sophomore, has brought Cathedral Catholic into third. Oregon, Utah, and California running one, two, three. O'Scanlan running a great leg here for Jesuit, but Maya Bybee has certainly held that lead. And moving into fourth now, Liza Hong has brought Del Norte into fourth. Lindsay Zimmer in the white top and the red shorts of Cathedral Catholic continues to move well, trying to get them up in contention with Lone Peak and Jesuit. The freshman, Maya Bybee, 
Holding well and strong here. Moving well though. Mara O'Skinlan of Jesuit still right there and Cathedral Catholic. That's Mario, our top three. Mara, you're running great. Eyes up, you can get her. You can close that gap. You're running out of your head. Keep rolling. Keep rolling, Mara. And Del Norte and Mountain View will go by in four and five. Coming home here, getting ready to hand off at the halfway point. Outstanding here, Maya Bybee, the freshman from Lone Peak, finishing strong. Marl O'Skinlan of Jesuit also finishing strong, and they'll hand off here going into the third leg. Going to be just shade over 10 minutes, averaging right at 5.03. Jesuit averaging right at 5.06. And here comes Cathedral Catholic. They'll go off in third. Andy Agard, the senior from Lone Peak. She is our lead runner there, just going by the 200 now. She's run 455.70 for 1,600. And this is Emma Bennett, the junior in the green for Jesuit. And the senior Agar there in the black of Lone Peak going by the first of her 400s. And then comes Jesuit of Oregon in the green, there they go by in second. And Cathedral Catholic now in the white top and the red shorts will go by there in third. coming into the home stretch here one more time here. Andy Agard. The all black with the bright green shoes coming by at 800. Emma Bennett in the green of Jesuit comes by with 800 to go on her leg. This is Jocelyn Gibson now passing by on the finish line in third place with Cathedral Catholic. Megan Latham, freshman from Marist, is coming by. That's them right now at the finish line in fourth. And we've got a great group there, five, six, seven, eight, nine.
Andy Agard now, she'll have 400 to go, just about ready for that last lap. Lone Peak continues to lead. And Emma Bennett in the bright green. Jesuit holding that second spot. She's got 400 to go. On the back stretch, Agard now making her move. 300 to go. Agard now, 200 to go, running a strong leg. The senior from Lone Peak out of Highland, Utah. 150 to go. And Emma Bennett trying to keep Jesuit within striking distance. And here we go, just about to hand off that standing leg. So we're gonna be under five here. So we're gonna hand off right at 15. 03, and we go to Addie Meldrum, the senior out of Lone Peak. She's run 4.53, so we have a great chance of going under 20 minutes here. We've only had four teams ever break 20 minutes in the history of the Arcadia Invitational. The record set last year, 1954, by that outstanding Buchanan team. We certainly are gonna have the fastest time in the country. Gonna have the fastest time in the country by almost a minute here. This is a great effort. Addie Meldrum, the senior, taking Lone Peak out. Jesuit moving very well. Emily Bell now moving up well. She's in the green, passing by the flagpole. And this is Meldrum in the all black with the pink shoes. 1,200 to go, three laps. And Bell in the green of Jesuit, three laps to go. And this is Cathedral Catholic passing by the finish line, currently in third, Mountain View in the home stretch, heading to the finish line area there in fourth. Buchanan in fifth, Marist in sixth. They're the teams on the home stretch just about to pass the finish line now. Clovis North in sixth and Hellgate in seventh. And now 800 to go. So if we can get a 228 or better, we'll go under 20 minutes. Hey, if you're a little cold, you can make a little noise, put your hands together, help them get through this last 800. See if we can go under 20 minutes, become the fifth team ever to do that. That is Lone Peak in the black on the back stretch. She's got 700 to go. Make a little noise, put your hands together, get a little warm, and get a little loud and help them go. Lone Peak now, 600 to go. Leg one, All right, 500 to go on the home stretch. 
Uh, we don't have to wait for her to come around. Let's help her now. Get her going. Get her on to this last lap. And we're going to pass by the finish line right here. 48, 49. All we need is a 70. Here we go. 400. And Jesuit in the bright green running a great. They're easily running the second fastest time in the country this year. They come by at 9.05. Down the back stretch. Lone Peak all alone. 300 to go. And we go by right at 1927. And she has given us everything she got. Addie Meldrum, the senior from Lone Peak. On their way to the fastest time in the country this year. Here she comes, 100 meters to go. Lone Peak dominating and she is flying down to finish she's going to give it a shot 55 we are going to be right there oh my right at 20 2001 the fastest time in the country by more than 50 seconds 72 on that last lap jesuit here running the second fastest time in the country this is Jesuit in the bright green, a great effort. Number two in the U.S., 2026. And we've got ourselves a battle for third and fourth. Coming off the turn, Cathedral Catholic and Mountain View. Cathedral Catholic on the inside, Mountain View on the outside. And they are both working it all the way down. Cathedral Catholic, Mountain View. Cathedral Catholic, and it will be very close. And they will run the fifth and sixth fastest times in the country this year. And that is for Keith Pedro Catholic, number two in California this year. It two uh, gr uh, four great relays, and we delivered on two, and we've got two more. Now the boys will take the stage. Our first will be our seated boys four by sixteen hundred relay, and then our invitational four by sixteen hundred. As we mentioned, a little legitimate shot at the national record here, going into that race here, and that'll be our final race of the evening. We'll set ourselves up for a great evening, and be back here bright and early tomorrow morning for a great day at the Arcadia Invitation. Who's a 10? First leg, who's a 10? Thank you. 